Good morning to all of you. Very good morning, and we are meeting today uh, in a different setup in our homes. And I'm ho I hope that all of us are gathered around uh, devices, and that we will be able to have a meaningful worship this morning. Things are different today. We may not feel as if we are in the church, but I I believe that a home should be better places of worship. We are will constantly be reminded the life that we are supposed to. Do. So today is Ascension Sunday, and also the children will be leading worship day, and we are happy that the children. Prepared themselves and they were all on time. Join the service. So, a pleasant welcome to all of you again. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us therefore approach the throne of grace with boldness, so that we may receive mercy and find grace to help in times of need. As we Begin this morning's worship. Let us sing together the hymn that you would find on your screens. Worship the King, O glorious above, so gratefully sing His power and His love. Our shield and defender, the ancient of days, the brilliant in splendor and burdened with praise. Children of dust, and evil has been, in thee do we trust, so worthy to rest. Our mercies are tender, how far to the earth, our maker defender, redeemer and friend. Let us be silent for a while and prepare ourselves to make humble confession of our sins to God. Let us all join in the con corporate confession. Generous and merciful God, we confess to you and to our sisters and brothers that we have sinned against you, against one another, and against your creation in thought, word, and deed. Through our ignorance, our weakness, and our deliberate disobedience, we are truly sorry. Forgive us all that is past and grant us the gift of new life in Christ Jesus, our Savior. Amen. May the Almighty and Merciful Lord grant unto you pardon and remission of all your sins, time for newness of life, 
and the grace and comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. So we know that God has forgiven us. And when we are forgiven, we can praise him because he has given us another new opportunity to start things all over in our lives this morning. So as we give thanks to him and praise him, I would like us to join in a chorus that we are all familiar with and especially chorus that the children will probably be uh, familiar with uh, in place of the Gloria. All glory be to God, he has lifted me up, he has lifted me up, I know. He reached out his hand and he lifted me up, and that's why I love him so. I love him more and more. I love him. More and more, and when I stand upon the other shore, I'll praise him more and more. And when I stand upon the other shore, I'll praise him more and more. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Now Reverend Chinta will lead us the calling. Let us say the calling together. Grant, we pray, gracious God, that as we believe our Lord Jesus Christ to have ascended in triumph to your presence, so may we in heart and mind there ascend and with Christ continually dwell, we are with you and the Holy Spirit, the Lord Jesus Christ is alive and reigns in glory everlasting. Amen. Amen. Now, Vivesh will read to us from the book of Acts. The reading is taken from Acts chapter 1, verses 1 to 11. Jesus taken up into heaven. In my former book, Theophilus, I wrote about all that Jesus began to do and to teach until the day he was taken up to heaven after giving instructions through the Holy Spirit to the apostles he had chosen. After his suffering, he presented himself to them and gave many convincing proofs that he was alive. He appeared to them over a period of 40 days and spoke about the kingdom of God. On one occasion, while he was eating with them, he gave them this command, Do not leave Jerusalem, but wait for the gift my father has promised which you have heard me speak about. For John baptized with water, but in a few days you will be baptized with the Holy Spirit. Then they gathered around him and asked him, Lord, are you at this time going to restore the kingdom to Israel? He said to them, It is not for you to know the times or dates the Father has set by his own authority, but you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes on you. And you will be my witness in Jerusalem and in all Judea and Samaria and to the ends of the earth. After he said this, he was taken up before their very eyes and a cloud hid him from their sight. They were looking intensely up into the sky as he was going. Then suddenly, two men dressed in white stood beside them. Men of Galilee, they said, Why do you stand here looking into the sky? The same Jesus who has been taken from you to heaven, will come back in the same way you have seen him going to heaven. 
This is the word of the Lord. Listen to Psalms. It will be read by little Seelan. Psalm 47. Clap your hands, all you nations. Shout to God with cries of joy. For the Lord most high is Zazen, awesome, the great king over all the earth. He subdued nations and us people under our feet. He chose our inheritance for us, the pride of Jacob, whom he loved. God has ascended amid shouts of joy. The Lord amid the sounding of trumpets. Sing praises to God. Sing praises. Sing praises to our king. Sing praises. For, for God is the king of all the earth. Sing to him a psalm of praise. God reigns over the nations. God is seated on his holy throne. The nobles of the nations assemble. The people of the God of Abraham. For the kings of the earth belong to God. Is greatly exalted. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be. World without end. Amen. Now, Abhya will read to us from the New Testament, from the letter to the Ephesians. The Bible reading is taken from the book of Ephesians 1, verse 15 to 23. For this reason, ever since I heard about your faith in the Lord, Jesus and your love for all the saints, I have not stopped giving thanks for you, remembering you in my prayers. I keep asking that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the glorious Father, may give you the spirit of wisdom and revelation so that you may know him better. I pray also that the eyes of your heart may be enlightened in order that you may know the hope to which he has called you. The riches of his glorious inheritance in the saints and his incomparably great power for us who believe. That power is like the working of his mighty strength, which he exerted in Christ when he raised him from the dead and seated him at his right hand in the heavenly realm. Far above all rule and authority, power and dominion, and every title that can be given, not only in the present age, but also in the one to come. And God placed all things under his feet and appointed him to be head over everything for the church. This is the word of the God. Thanks be to God. Now we will sing again. I hope that we will all join as we sing along. As we sing, I would like all of us to sing along with us. We cannot get all the voices together on this uh, medium, but I'm sure we'll sing along with us. Jesus loves me, this I know. For the Bible tells me so, little ones to him belong. They are weak, but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. 
Now we will have the gospel read to us. Sandeepani will read to us the gospel. The gospel reading is taken from Luke chapter 24, reading from verses 44 to 53. He said to them, This is what I told you while I was still with you. Everything must be fulfilled that is written about me in the law of Moses, the prophets and the Psalms. Then he opened their minds so that they could understand the scriptures. He told them, this is what is written. The Messiah will suffer and rise from the dead on the third day. And repentance for the forgiveness of sins will be preached in his name to all nations beginning at Jerusalem. You are witnessing of, you are witnesses of these things. And I am going to send you what my father has promised. But stay in the city until you have been clothed with power from on high. When he had led them out to, to live in the vicinity of Bethany, he lifted up his hands and blessed them. While he was blessing them, he left them and was taken up into heaven. And then they worshipped him and returned to Jerusalem with great joy. And they stayed continually at the temple, praising God. These are the words of Jesus Christ. Lord. Today we celebrate the ascension of Christ. Rather, it was celebrated last Thursday. And today is the Sunday that we celebrate the ascension of Christ. 40 days after the resurrection of Christ, Jesus, we know came the time when he had to leave us. Well, we can remember the time that he died. The moment he died, the disciples were devastated. They didn't know what to do because they depended so much on the Lord Jesus Christ. But then, after the resurrection, they came to realize, okay, Jesus is still there around us. And they experienced him so many times after his resurrection. But he wouldn't uh, be with them constantly. He would come, he will leave, he will, he will be there at the important uh, moments. He was not regularly there with them. But then even that was a comfort for the disciples. But then came the time after 40 days that Jesus said, I am going. I have to go now. 
children if you can remember the first day that you went to school i'm sure most of the adults also remember their first day when went to school uh some would have forgotten but those who cried probably will remember the day when they went to school the day when your parents left you with a teacher you have not seen before but who was supposed to now teach you thereafter this teacher uh, the the teacher of disciples or jesus christ himself when he had to leave i'm sure there would have been disciples who would have tried as if departing from the parents and being left behind in our school this memory should enable us to understand the, the mindset of the disciples left behind with someone with the promise of someone who will come to them to guide them remind them and to teach them the days to come and this person who was so close to them who taught them thus all these things had to go so with this experience what did the disciples do what were what were they asked to do it is very important that they stayed in jerusalem until they received the holy spirit and we hear in the scriptures that they daily met and that they prayed and they uh, worship the lord so if you have been a little attentive to our whatsapp group we have been sharing some uh, podcasts that were that are circulated all around the world these days for us to prepare for the coming of the holy spirit i know sometimes when it comes to churches like ours the mainline churches the so called mainline churches we are uh, a little uh, distant we feel a little distant when we speak of the holy spirit as if it is something that we don't know about and mainly the younger churches talk too much about well uh, i think the church has taught uh, us enough about the holy spirit if we have listened well and understood but the thing is sometimes we celebrate it once a year at pentecost which we will celebrate next week and we forget sometimes all about it and especially at confirmation when you are when you are a, when you were a child when you were confirmed that was the day the church prayed for the bishop prayed on you so that you would receive the holy spirit and it is that holy spirit who had brought you in faith up to date sometimes knowingly but sometimes even without your knowledge so the holy spirit is someone came into the world was was assured by the by jesus when he left but the important thing today we will talk about the holy spirit more next week but today what we remember is jesus was raised to his father jesus who came down for us be one of us and even to be someone even below us so that he could reach out to everyone has done what his father has asked him to do and because of that now he is given all glory and honor we know sometimes our parents will treat us uh for doing things uh that they want us as children to do and sometimes when we re- uh, when we achieve make achievements in our lives when we pass exams they might take us for ice cream or buy us something just to make us feel that we appreciate what you have done so god the father was so appreciative of his son that he did everything as he was asked so much so that he was raised up the nearer presence to the right hand of god the father now i know as children we find it difficult to understand the godhead and the trinity it was god himself 
but let's learn about it slowly i'm sure the adults understand what i'm trying to say but anyway jesus was raised up now what does jesus do after that G- why did jesus come jesus came so that he could bridge there was a gap in between god and man after jesus this was this gap was filled we were brought close closer to each other so jesus stands as the bridge from this end to the other end from this cliff to the other cliff so that people could walk to god through jesus so today jesus sits with god or he is god and he represents our humanity there in the presence of god he stands as a human there in the presence of god interceding for us praying for us even before we could open our mouths he is praying for us he reminds he is there in the presence of god reminding us of, of, of reminding god of our humanity and he is doing it uh, perfectly he doesn't make any mistakes he didn't do any mistakes while he was on earth and he will is we are assured that he will not make any mistakes up there now it is for us to know what we are to do now we cannot be like people who cannot see would have to touch this that and the other and walk about because we were told we were shown by jesus christ as to how we should live and what we should do so we should live according his teachings until he comes so these 10 days as we celebrate ascension and also await pentecost we are supposed to stay in prayer in a close relationship with our brothers and sisters praying studying the word of god so that we may receive the holy spirit not that we are going to receive uh, we have not received it we have received it so many years ago but for us to have a fresh experience with the holy spirit we need to as a congregation be at the foot of the cross foot of jesus christ preparing ourselves praying and studying the word of god so that we will find meaning what jesus has done done for us and what he expects of us so while as we wait as we wait for the holy spirit while while god jesus does what is what uh, he is supposed to do up there let us remind ourselves as to what we should be doing down here we have to be his hands his feet his eyes his ears his nose <laughs> everything he wants us to do what he would have done down here so look around uh, yesterday one of our, i was happy to hear, see one of our parishioners sent out sending out a message to remind us to look around there'll be neighbors who are not financially stable these days there'll be people on the road who do not do not have food we enjoy when it rains in the night because we can have a very nice uh, nap uh, sleep in the night but there are people out there on the road having no shelter and especially with the with these restrictions of movement and shops being closed there'll be so many people who cannot uh, cannot buy for themselves uh, their needs for a week or so they can they buy only what they can put for the day so we need to look out there and do what is possible for such people and we are uh, you can be assured of that god will bless those people through us one of the first important miracles that we that is recorded in the bible is of peter and john healing a person who walked they didn't know even that they could do it but they did what they were told to do and that man started walking jump leaping and praising god 
and i'm sure if we in faith do what we are called to do today there'll be so many people out there will whose lives will be blessed and who will experience the love of god so jesus is up there doing his task and we have to be mindful that we do our task down here on his behalf so that our relationship will grow mature and that we will be drawn more closer to him so may god bless us all to do what he wants us to do in this world in our time may god bless us all shall we spend a few moments in silence dear lord we thank you father for you came into this world that you died for us and even on the cross you taught us that we need to live our lives up to death for others and now that you are up there we know that you pray for us that you intercede for us and as we celebrate ascension today help us to be your hands your feet your mouth your eyes your everything your presence here down on earth help us to be you father be your son awaiting your holy spirit to empower us help us also to prepare ourselves as a community to serve you much better with the power of the holy spirit in our precious name we pray amen now we will enter into a time of prayer intercessions now these intercessions this is what jesus is doing on our behalf and this is now what we do on his behalf the father as a church we intercede for the things out there in the world so little jemima will lead us in prayer and don't forget to respond response to the lord in your mercy will be hear our prayer lord jesus you are god who listens to us when we pray as we bring our prayers today hear us and be close to us lord in your mercy hear our prayer we pray for our church at this time please be with our peace and lay workers and all of us and guide us as we serve you lord in your mercy hear our prayer we pray for our country be with our leaders and all people especially at this time of sickness keep all of us safe and healthy and bless our land lord in your mercy hear our prayer lord jesus please be with all those who are in need sick or sad comfort and strengthen them and help us to remember them and care for them in any way that we can Lord in your mercy hear our prayer dear lord jesus bless our families and children and keep them in your care we pray especially for children who are in difficult situations please protect and comfort them lord in your mercy hear our prayer Heavenly Father, be with us during the coming week. May we know your love and care at all times. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Thank you, little Jemima, and thank you all the children who. helped us in today's worship and it is now time to share peace 
and as we share peace i would like you all to share peace with all of them all of uh, your family members at home and it is very important that we have peace in our homes before we take that peace out into the world so beloved let us love one another for love is of god peace be with you peace be with you now reverend chinta will lead us from here and they worshiped him and returned to jerusalem with great joy and they were continually in the temple blessing god let us all join in the lord's prayer our father who art in heaven Hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive them that trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. But thanks be to God. who gives us the victory through our lord jesus christ let us receive god's blessings as we conclude this time of worship the peace of god which passes all understanding keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of god and of his son jesus christ our lord and the blessing of god almighty the father the son and the holy spirit be amongst you and remain with you now and always amen amen we shall sing again concluding this time of worship and giving thanks to god Praise my soul the king of heaven to his feet i tribute bring ransom till restored forgiven who like his praise should sing praise him praise him Praise him, praise him, praise the everlasting King. Praise him for his praise and favor to our fathers in distress. Praise him till the same forever, through time and eternity.
Oh. 